Okay. The Kodak Play Sport is all charged up. I put the lanyard on the bottom. And there's a couple things I learned about it. The first thing of which on the back, back here is a light. So you can tell when the camcorder is recording. And right next to it is a pinhole. Actually a, a line pretty much. Very small. And uh, that is the mic. And of course that's the lens there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the SD card on this and that goes on the left side of the device and I have right now I have a 2 gig card I'm probably going to replace it with a uh, 16 gig but I haven't purchased that yet there we go alright I'm gonna fire it up and show you around I'm gonna press the power button which is on the right hand side of the device up here and you can see it boot up there we go now it's in camera mode right now you see the five megapixel down in the lower left hand corner here it shows that I have full battery power and SD card and I have 990 the ability to put 999 pictures on here so that's a lot of pictures now on the device itself you have four buttons down here and a uh, uh, an enter button here in the center of the circle and then directionals around that down here this button is settings so you can go into your settings and uh, you know change things around uh, the first thing is your date and time and then NTSC or PAL the brightness sound all that there's an H2O mode on this which will um, alter the color supposedly when you're underwater uh, I probably won't be doing much underwater until next summer uh, then other settings down here and uh, checking on the SD card if you want to format it, things like that. That's your settings button down there. The next button up is a trash button. So you can press that if you want to, gar if you want to get rid of you know, trash cans, some of the pictures that you have in there. The button next to that up here is your viewing button so you can check out any of the pictures that you did take on it. And then the final button up here is your camera button and that will basically change the there's three modes on it there's regular there's sapia and then there's black and white this is sapia that's black and white and that's regular okay now the directional buttons here of course the white button in the center is when you want to you know take a picture or uh, press record or whatever uh, the left and the right will change it from camera which basically will only take five megapixel camera uh, five megapixel pictures or you can change it to video mode where you can do HD uh, 720p HD 720p at 60 frames a second or HD 1080p down here I think that's 30 frames a second when it does it like that the up and down is a zoom so I'll put my hand out here for you and I'll show you you can zoom in on it or zoom out and then I believe this is in camera mode still so I can take a picture and it's pretty quick not a lot of waiting going on and then if you want you can do um, the video so we're gonna put it I think when I do my videos I'm gonna do 720p at 60 frames a second that'll probably give me the best quality but I'm gonna mess around with it and see but every video I do from here on out is gonna be done on this camera so you can judge for yourself and see well if it's good quality or not as a car drives by outside so uh, I'm gonna actually do some uh, video photography here and we're gonna see what that looks like so it's just gonna be my hand again and not very interesting but uh, there we go so a 2 gig card I had some pictures on there from my previous camera this is from my other camera which happens to be a waterproof camera as well but it's I mean it does video but it's very low quality video but it does uh, 5 megapixel pictures as well um, but uh, like I said I'm gonna upgrade the card but it gives me it appears it gives me uh, 20 minutes probably around there at this quality so a 16 gig card should give me 
a good amount of time, at least over um, maybe two hours or so at this quality. So that is the Kodak PlaySport camera, waterproof, up to three meters or almost 10 feet. And you can judge for yourself and see if it's something that uh, you'd be interested in because, like I said before, I'm going to be doing all my videos with this camera, all my unboxings and all my Tech Harvest videos. So that's pretty much it for now. I'll see you next time. Oh, yeah, and one more thing. This is the shutdown sequence when you shut this camcorder down.